So how can creativity help us? Over this next hour, I'm going to be speaking to the founder of the Art of Grieving Festival, which is a new three-month exhibit in Hertfordshire, exploring death and loss through art. More than 50 artists have taken part with paintings, photos, short films, songs, all working through grief and aiming to break taboos. And we'll be joined by three of those artists too. But as always... I would love this to be a conversation, not just between myself and my guests, but between you and us as well. Because if you have encountered loss, felt grief, have you found a creative outlet to help you deal with that? If so, I would love to know what that creative outlet was, how you've turned that pain into something that has blossomed within you and then expressed itself in whatever artistic format you chose. 08085 is the phone number and the WhatsApp number. Text us on 85058. I'd very much like you to be part of our conversation. Now, Kate Ray is founder and trustee for Rennie Grove Hospice Care's Bereavement Advisory Group and joins us now. Good afternoon, Kate. Hi there, Nihal. It's lovely to see you. Yeah, it's lovely to see you too. Um, firstly, thank you to kind of reaching out to me on Instagram. I believe it was you. And, was then, and then being persistent. There's, was, a lot, yeah. there's a lot going on in my life and, and, and I, I did want to do this, uh, but you learnt very early on. Just be persistent with him and you'll get it. Absolutely. Well, do you know, I first contacted you in 2019 before the second Art of Grieving exhibition but that time I only contacted you a couple of weeks before and you were keen then and I I spoke with one of your producers at that time, um, but it just couldn't happen. So this time, as soon as I knew that we were going to be doing this bigger exhibition in 2022, I contacted you before Christmas and um, straight away you said, yeah, I want to do this, but you're right, I did have to be persistent. (laughs) So my apologies for that. Um, Okay, tell us about this then. How did this idea come about? Okay, so originally I was a volunteer and a trustee for a small St Albans charity called Bereavement Matters. And as a trustee, I wanted to find a a new forum for reaching out and supporting people who are going through any type of loss or bereavement. And I wanted the forum to be something different to to what we were already doing and mainly we were offering counselling and talking therapies and I felt that art was a really good way to connect with people um, and draw people in through their own creativity but also allow for conversations and communication with those that came to view the exhibition. So in a sense it was twofold. We were um, in a, we were offering support to artists who wished to share their work, who some of whom had created work years before, and, and like your poet was just saying, um, hadn't ever thought they would necessarily share with an audience. Others created work specifically for the exhibition, but all of them were connected by a wish to be part of a community, and a community that supported everyone through loss and grief and death an area of life which is obviously often taboo how do you connect someone's pain to creativity especially when so many people for many reasons sometimes just a lack of confidence have never felt they could be creative before that's that's a really good question and the myriad of different exhibits that we've had over the three exhibitions um, is really a testament to, um, to the answer to that question in that there is no one way. You know, some of these people are professional artists whose life has been touched by a, a terrible loss or a terrible death, and they have then created work um, that's that's been different to their other work because they've been so affected by that loss. Um, Other people have just felt drawn to the 
um, the therapeutic aspect of creation. So they haven't necessarily felt that what they, because some of our exhibits are textiles, for example. So the creation of a piece of um, patchwork or um, sewing someone's name or images that they, they loved into a piece of fabric is in itself therapeutic. I mean, one lady this, this year, for example, she had never been artistic. Um, she, her, her brother had sadly taken his own life a couple of years earlier. Um, she was struggling with her grief and she wrote in her email to me, you, you won't want this piece of art. It won't be what you're looking for, but I just wanted to send you a photo and tell you about it. This painting is called Bro. And it's about my brother. My daughter was doing a piece of artwork for school. And I just suddenly felt that I wanted to paint something to try and get some of my upset out of me. And the painting started off really dark and lots of black. And then it changed and I took time to create it. And it's now been on my wall for, I think it's three years. And I've just seen the publicity about your exhibition and I'd love it to be part of it. And so, of course, I said yes. So, so this is, and, and she, when, when I wrote and said, yes, you know, your, your, your submission's been accepted, she wrote back and said, my brother would be laughing his head off. He would absolutely love this. And that's just one story of 50, Nihal. You know, there are so many different stories that I could tell you about the sharing of these people's, personal and amazing work you know there's there's it's just it's going to be an amazing exhibition um how does it help them deal with that pain what happens through being creative well i think that's something that you probably need to ask the art the three yeah. artists going to be taking part in this discussion as well um, I wouldn't count myself as an artist but I do like to be creative and I would say for myself that sometimes in a way what you create is honoring someone that you want to remember so you're creating something in their memory and you make it beautiful and you make it personal to them and you remember the little details about their relationship with you and how you felt about them. But in other ways, as I was just saying about textile work, I think actually the act of making a piece of work itself can be therapeutic. You know, the act of painting onto a board or creating a piece of glass work or making a sculpture itself can be therapeutic. So I think there are many layers to the therapeutic offerings of art and and of an art exhibition because obviously like we're talking now about this exhibition I think the artists that take part will enjoy meeting well I know they have in previous exhibitions enjoy meeting each other and sharing their stories and looking at each other's work but also the audience come and we have some people who come because it's an art exhibition and then find themselves touched by the stories, touched by the work. And, and then perhaps, as happened in a previous exhibition, coming and saying, you know, I don't feel that I've really dealt with a loss that I've suffered. And I think I might sign up for an art of grieving workshop, or I might be someone who might find it helpful to have somebody to talk to in a talking therapy. So it's, it's, it's multi-layered the ways that it can help.